There I was, being a regular kid until I was nine. And one weekend, we went to the Hayden Planetarium, right here in New York City. And, right, it's just another museum until they turn out the lights and the stars come out. Back then, space shows were live, and so there's this voice. We are now in the universe, and here are the stars. You look it up, you don't see anybody, you just hear this voice. So it's like the universe is talking to me. And there was a sky unlike that which I've ever seen, having been born and raised in New York. And there you are, immersed, bathed in the cosmos. And that can be quite influential on a nine-year-old, as it was on me. It's as though you were locked in a room your whole life and then somebody opens a window to a universe, to the universe. Two years later, my parents bought me my first telescope. And then I saw the sky as sort of the universe had intended it to be seen, bringing the moon to me as never before. That was it. I was hooked. From then on, I wanted to be an astrophysicist. What's fun about telescopes is that if you've never looked through one, and then you look through one for the first time at the moon or at Saturn, it is astonishing. Saturn has rings. Oh my gosh, the moon has craters. Things you've heard about and read about, but to experience them yourself becomes a singular moment in your life. You are there in the universe, and you can't get enough of it. From then to this day, when I look up at the night sky from spectacular vistas, mountaintops, middle of the ocean, I look up, and when I see the night sky, I say, that reminds me of the Hayden Planetarium. <laughs> In fact, looking back on it, I would say that weekend, the universe called me.